One thing some of you guys might not know about Cookie, she is a mama. She has had puppies. She had beautiful puppies, and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. So let's get into Cookie's story. my new microphone that I got for Christmas. I'm super excited to see how this video turns out. This video was requested. I love requested videos. And today we're gonna talk all about Cookie. This is Cookie Dough, you guys. If you're new to our channel, she is one of our dogs. She is a five pound chihuahua. She's the biggest of all of our chihuahuas. Her color is chocolate merle and it's one of the things that really sets her apart from the other dogs that we have. She's such an unusual color. She is she is seven years old and we got her when she was one. So we have had this girl for six glorious years, right? You've been with us for six years. And one thing some of you guys might not know about Cookie, she is a mama. She has had puppies. She had beautiful puppies and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. So let's get into Cookie. Basically, if you've been following your channel at all, you know, you might know that we do a lot of animal rescue. We um, rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome from anything from dogs to kittens to squirrels to raccoons to chipmunks to birds. We, you name it, we've pretty much done it. We're not so great with fish, but other than that, we do okay. So, uh, Cookie came to us six years ago when she was one year old. She came to us with another dog, a little male. His name was Rocco, and Cookie's name was Cookie, but we changed it to Cookie Dough because um, Sophia was only two at the time when we got Cookie, and Sophia loved her, and she didn't understand the name Cookie, so she called her Cookie Dough because that was what she, she associated Cookie with. So she became Cookie Dough. And I think it's a really fitting name because it matches her fur. She looks like Cookie Dough. You look like Cookie Dough. Anyway, um, Cookie came to us with another dog. He was a little tiny bit smaller than her, shorter than her, but he was also five pounds. His name was Rocco. I'll be sharing pictures um, of them when they first came. Anyway, when they came, um, it was a different they had lived together in a rabbit hutch and that's where they slept and that's where they played and that's where they stayed. It's a long um, a rabbit hutch that you bought from the store, similar to the bunny hutch that we have um, for our bunnies. She was very skittish, very afraid, very much like a puppy mill dog. It was obvious that she had very little interaction with people. Right, Cookie? We would let her outside to pee in our fenced yard and she would never come to us. We would try and get her back in the house and it took hours to get her back in the house. She did everything that the other, that the male dog did, Rocco. She followed him everywhere. She was so close to him and I found it really hard to connect with her. Um, depending on the level of damage done to a dog when we get it, some are like, help me, help me, be my mama when they come and they want to bond and they want to be a part of us right away. And the more damaged dogs tend to shy away and be afraid and not connect very quickly. Gabby, of course, already had a dog and it was Macy and she was very attached to her. And when we got these two new chihuahuas that we knew we were not going to keep, Sophie attached to the, herself to the little male. He was a little tiny bit smaller, easier for her to carry around and she loved him and he was, pretty old, he was um, probably at least 10 years old, and he would pretty much just do whatever she wanted. She would carry him around like a baby and he would just let her, and she got really close to him. And Cookie got close to no one. She stayed apart from us, she wouldn't cuddle with us, she wouldn't, she, she made it clear that she wanted to be with him and him alone. She did not want to be with us. As time went on, um, it became apparent that Cookie was gonna be a mama. She was gonna have babies. We were so excited. We were so excited to have Chihuahua puppies. Um, we knew that we would not find Cookie a home until after her puppies were born. Before Cookie's puppies were born, 
the male, Rocco, woke up one morning and he had a little bit of diarrhea and I noticed and I put him in the X-Pen that we were keeping the little dogs in our family room in. So I put him in there and I got him some water and he drank the whole bowl. He drank the whole thing and I thought, wow, you know, that little bit of diarrhea that he had, it was just a small amount, nothing abnormal. Um, it really dehydrated him. So I left him, I went upstairs to clean up the kids room make kids rooms and make the beds for the morning and I came downstairs about 20 minutes later and went to check on him I just wanted to make sure that he was okay I was looking for signs that maybe he would need to go to the to the vet but I mean he was barely even sick and he, was, he had passed away in those 20 minutes he was laying in his dog bed with his head near the water bowl and he, he was gone and to this day I still don't know what happened to him and it was shocking and and even though he'd only been with us for a short time, it was really painful for us, really painful for me and really painful for Sophia and really painful for Cookie because that is the only person in the whole world that she connected with. And I, I thinking back to it, I, um, I realized that I had forgotten how horrible that time was because I think he was the very first dog that we ever um, had lost. Right, Cookie? She's like, I don't even remember him. Anyway, moving forward, after Rocco passed away, Cookie didn't have anybody to love. She didn't have anybody to connect with, and she decided, hey, I think I'm gonna connect with you guys because there's nobody else to love me. She was pregnant, and she decided that because Sophia loved Rocco so much, she must be safe. And Cookie went to Sophia and so he went to Cookie and they, they became so close. So, so, so close. Like I can't even believe how close they became. Sophie was connecting with Cookie and Cookie was connecting with Sophie. It did take a little bit of time, but soon after Rocco left, Cookie really, truly decided to become a part of us. Eventually, Cookie Doe had her puppies and I was still, um, I still had my plan that I was going to wean her puppies, find them good homes, and then find her a good home, a home that she deserved with somebody to love her and to keep her safe and to make her feel secure. Cookie's puppies grew and flourished and we had so much fun with them and she was an amazing mama. She also became so much more confident with us and she grew into her new role as mama. She became um, such a loving, sweet dog, the dog that you know now. That's all happened after she had her puppies. And um, in the back of my mind, I started to think about preparing Sophia for the time when Cookie went to find her for Amber Family. Um, she was still really, really young. And every time I approached approach the subject with her, she would cry and she would say, no, I'm keeping Cookie. Cookie's my dog. And um, I kept saying to her, well, you know, Cookie has issues and what if mommy found you a little teeny tiny dog that you could train and that you could carry around easier because I didn't feel like Cookie was the right dog for her. She struggled to carry her. I wanted Cookie to be able to be safe being carried by a little tiny three year old and I wanted Sophie to be able to have a dog that she could manage the way that Gabby and um, Macy evolved in their relationship. Sophie was 150% sure that there was no other dog in the entire world for her. I showed her pictures, I gave her so many ideas of what she could have um, that, that Cookie wasn't, and she said no, absolutely not. Slowly over time, it became apparent to me that this is the right dog for Sophie, that Sophie is the same personality as Cookie. Cookie is quiet and love, and, and, and all she does is love and support. And Sophie is quiet and the most loving little girl that I have ever met in my entire life. And who could fight against that? Who could fight against that? And I took a little bit more time and I looked at Cookie and I said, you know, she does have issues, but she loves us and she knows us and she's comfortable with us. And if I rehome her the way I planned to rehome her right from the very start, then it was just gonna cause more issues. I just decided to trust Sophia. I felt like that there could possibly be something bigger at play here. A lesson that I needed to learn about how um, something doesn't have to be perfect to, 
to be important and something doesn't have to be flawless to have value. And I was a lot younger back then and I was still learning a lot of lessons and this was the very beginning of a time when I would learn that just because you weren't what I wanted to begin with, it doesn't mean that you aren't going to be exactly who I need you to be. And Cookie has proven to be the best dog for us and for Sophie and she is a perfect um, addition to our family and we have had her for so long now and I can't even imagine there would never ever ever be a time that I would even ever consider rehoming her or I'm just so thankful that she belongs to us. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. I thought it was important when somebody suggested that I share our other dog's story because um, I wanted you guys to see and know how they became a part of our family and what they mean to us. Cookie and Sophie have a bond like, just exactly like Gabby and Macy. We got Macy when she was a 12 week old puppy and the bond that they have is exactly the same as the bond that Sophie has with Cookie Dough. So it doesn't matter if you get a puppy or a rescue dog, the end result is exactly the same. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, things that you always wanted to know about us but we've never addressed, feel free to link them in the comments below. And that's it. We'll see you guys later. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.